What is going on in this school is the most amazing educational experience a child could ever want or have. We're kindergarten through fifth grade. We have 933 students from over 67 countries. We are very proud that we have been named the number one magnet school in America, not once, but twice. begin with the end in mind, you know, you know what you're trying to accomplish, you make a plan. We talk about having a win-win solution. We talk about seeking first to understand and then to be understood. It's a perfect partnership. When these children graduate, the jobs that will be available to them, 65% of them have not been created. They'll be using tools that have not been invented solving problems that these jobs are aimed at that haven't been thought about yet. So in that kind of a world, what do you teach a child? We do have a responsibility and I think a huge moral obligation to provide our children with the kind of skills that they need in the kind of climate that will nurture what we need to be nurturing for those leaders of tomorrow. At age five, Almost 99% of all children with test as creative geniuses. After 20 years of the best education we can provide, only 3% of adults will test as creative geniuses. The fact of the matter is, we don't have to teach it, we have to stop unlearning it. We don't actually know a lot about how K-12 students do engineering. Um, we know a lot about how college students do engineering and college students are adults and they think a lot differently than children do. That's how our work at Tufts really started was just trying to think about how do we get engineering into the K-12 classroom. And as we were doing that, all of a sudden we're like, well, you know, we really want a tool where kids can build their own ideas, they can try things out, and they can really make things work. Uh, and so naturally we came to LEGO. When you walk into the classroom, the kids don't know whether they're doing engineering or science or whatever unless you tell them. They are creating something that's important to them either because of a challenge given to them by a teacher or a challenge that they find very exciting. They're really using the LEGO bricks and the LEGO kits to learn content and to really be able to apply the content to lots of different situations. Inside and out of the classroom, I've had lots of, lots of students who say, oh, well, I was at home and I did some engineering, instead of just saying, I played with my LEGO kids over the weekend. In the kindergarten level, in the first grade level, it, the robotics part isn't there as much. Um, they might be using simple machines to get something to move, using hand cranks and things like that. And then they move into um, simple motors to make a gear spin. By the time they're in fifth grade, it really depends on their comfort level. I still have kids, they want one motor to do one thing, and then I have kids that are using three and four motors to get their robot to do all these different things. It has pushed me to think outside the box. I'll be honest, engineering was never, like when they said that word, I was like, I'm not an engineer, I don't know what to do with it, but over time I've seen that it's simple to put into your classroom and it gets those students who may not love the reading and the writing to really be involved and to get excited about coming to school. The professional development has really had given me a chance to really think about what to expect from my students. Um, it makes me think a little bit differently about what I'm asking them to do and you know not just thinking about the, the end result, but getting them to think about how we're gonna get there. There are times when I start something and my kids ask me, how do these pieces go together? And I have to be willing to say, I don't know, let's try it out. And that as a teacher is scary as well, to start something and not know the answer 100%. Our partnership with LEGO has given our teachers permission to be creative and innovative again. And the scores are soaring. The engagement is at an all-time high and teachers' enthusiasm for teaching again is back where it should be. And we're so grateful and appreciative for that as well.
teaches communication skills. It teaches them to stick up for an idea that they have if they think it's the best one. It teaches them to kind of pull back if they see something that they think is a better idea. They're learning those skills through taking a problem and finding a solution. In this classroom setting, I do not have behavior issues. And I see every student in the school. And it's because they're excited, they're engaged, they're doing hands-on learning. I really have seen a lot of my students come out of their shell because of it, who are super quiet and don't really like to engage in, in conversation or in the reading or in the writing that we do. But once they get a chance to really touch something, and they're kind of working on it with a partner and sometimes on their own, and you know, they've kind of got their own mindset going on and, and they really get into it. Some kids come in with a certain level of comfort with Lego, but then there are a lot of kids, especially girls, who don't have Lego at home and they're getting this experience in their classroom and the research shows that girls may start out behind boys in terms of spatial reasoning and things like this, but that if you give them the experience that they catch up. I think it's great, especially for creating 21st century learners. So we're trying to get them to be able to work together and to discuss and to ask those questions and they're able to do that. And every group is a little bit different. So if they're not the highest student in the class, they're still able to succeed because there is no right answer. And that's what we really want the kids' experience to be, to mirror professional engineering. So we're not just teaching them some five steps of, you know, prototype, you know, test, redesign, but they actually experience that as, you know, I want to draw my idea because I need to communicate with my partner about what we're going to make. I need to test it to see if it really works because I really want to rescue Rapunzel. It's exciting because I feel like we're really getting a good picture of what elementary students are capable of. Then we're able to design curricula that's at the appropriate level for students. What does it look like to teach engineering? What does it look like uh, when you let a kid struggle with a problem? How do you know when to help and when to step back? We learned here, you know, what kind of things does the principal need to put in place so this can happen? What kind of things do the teachers need to be prepared to do and recognize to make this happen? So when you give kids these really rich problems in these really rich contexts, they do way more than the rest of the research literature says they can do. Through the lens of engineering, everything else can be taught. As a result, we have seen reading scores increase, we have seen math scores increase, we have seen enthusiasm for learning and coming to school second to none. You have to be willing to take a risk to do this, but that's how engineering is. Leaders need to be creative, and all those skills that they use as leaders, they're able to incorporate right into building and going through an engineering challenge. If we want to make the next generation of innovators, we can't tell them, you can do that when you're 22 and you're done with school, right? They have to start doing it when they're five. And we know that they're already really good at it when they're five, so let's build on that and keep it going. The kids love it, I love it. I like how it promotes creativity, which I think is really important, and innovation. The challenges of the future will not be solved through the memorized content of the past. There's something to be said about the power of the brick. Legos figured it out. One only has to walk into a classroom and see the engagement and the enthusiasm and the collaboration to know that this is what we need to be doing.